We're singing dead the hose and I got my pajamas on. <laughs> Such a loser. So I was going to film this video downstairs in front of the lovely Christmas tree but Rick is currently down there with Laylee and I just didn't have the heart to tell him to get out. So this is my attempt of making this video look Christmassy. It's the tacky Christmas tree that sits in our windowsill every single year because I just don't have the heart to get rid of it because I've had it since I was like 10. I can have it a tack on the top. <sighs> That's the effort I made for you guys so feel privileged. Right then, today is the start of the Christmas content. Yee! Sorry, I will rein it back in. My cheeks actually hurt. So today's video is my stocking filler ideas for a four-year-old. If you've got younger children, then I will leave my previous videos from previous years down in the description below. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's get started. So this year I've kind of spent a little bit more on each item rather than getting loads of little cheap bits because I find that in the previous years I have got lots of like cheaper bits and it just ends up being stuff that isn't used and this time I really thought about the stuff that Lila Rose would actually really genuinely like so I've still kind of kept within my £20 budget or maybe £15 budget but there is one thing that kind of raised the price but it's so worth it look how cool this is so i found this in the range for 6.99 like i said it is the more expensive thing if you're gonna do soaps and something practical in the stocking why not go the whole shebang like this is so cool so this is the bubble bath that's meant to look like marmalade and then it comes with a sponge that is toast now they do actually do the bubble bath on its own and they also do a paddington bath bomb i think it was and those were only like a couple of pounds so this was the more expensive option However, just before we went into the range, we went into Home Bargains and Lila Rose picked up a little sponge that was, I think, the shape of like a watermelon or something. And she was like, mum, look how cool this is. And like pretending to eat it, not actually putting it in her mouth. And then I walked into the range and I went to pick up the bath bomb of Paddington and then saw this and saw the toast and was like, yeah. So we're gonna be spreading the marmalade on the toast and then rubbing it all over ourselves. <laughs> a little bit more expensive, but definitely, definitely worth it. Okay, next up is something that I like to put in Lila's stocking each year, and that is toy figures. I feel like a lot of people do stockings as like practical things, which I totally understand, and then like down underneath the tree is more like their actual toys and things. What I like to try and do is have like a little bit of balance, so there are some like practical things that Lila Rose genuinely needs, like bath wash, but I do like to each year put in some sort of toys and just things that I can dot around through the stocking that just keeps it a little bit more interesting and Lila Rose just loves her toy figures so I think it was last year she got Paw Patrol Woo. this year I found these on Facebook marketplace for £1.50 they are so awesome now before I actually found these on marketplace I tried looking online to see if you could get Peter Rabbit figures because that was like the idea I had in mind they actually don't do them these are extremely rare and I think the woman on Facebook didn't realize how rare they are so she only sold them for £1.50 but if you type these in on Vinted just one of these alone some people were selling for like £7 I've also seen some people on Vinted selling like this whole set for like nearly £40 quid obviously the woman didn't realize how rare they are but if you are looking for something similar just try and have a little look maybe on marketplace or on vintage and try and get a good deal and like what i did last year with the paw patrol figures i like to just dot them like between the presents that are wrapped up so i'll probably put like peter rabbit at the top and then she has to like keep digging and opening up the next present the next present to try and like find the different figures in between all the presents if that makes sense okay next up is another vintage buy because i was not going to spend full price on this and this is actually in packaging it's brand new so this is the cry babies magic tears it's like a mini version and these are selling in vnm for eight pound i got this for three pound fifty off of vintage i think you're meant to like feed it its bottle and then it cries out real tears I don't get how it works, but we will work it out together. I think she's going to love it. And because Lila Rose has just had a new baby sister arrive, I thought this was a good way of giving her a little, like, baby of her own without going and getting, like, a whole brand new doll when she's already got dolls. So, yeah, I thought this was quite a cool alternative and even better for £3.50. Right, next up is another practical thing. This was £1.50 in the range, and it's a Paw Patrol toothbrush i think they had paddington versions they also had like peppa pig things like that it 
does light up so it's like a little button on the bottom so it, it lights up for two minutes could that cause epilepsy should i be worried about this i don't know anyway it flashes for two minutes so she obviously knows how long to brush for it's also got a sucker on the bottom as well which lila rose likes to uh, have her standing up against the sink so i don't know if i'm regretting the fact that it flashes but i do think that it's quite a cool toothbrush so yeah there's that one next up was a poundland buy and a little blast from the past because this is something i had growing up myself so this was two pound in poundland and it's just this little flip phone that is also hang on bear with that is also that is also lip gloss as well i remember this i remember taking it out of my little kitty handbag and being like hang on beep -boop, beep -boop, boop. and then you'd flip it up do your lips and then and I'm explaining this, but I was a lot older than I actually cared to tell you. <laughs> Lila Rose is going to love that. She loves doing like little lip glosses and things like that. And it's that four-year-old thing, isn't it? They love having like a little phone in their little handbags. So yeah, I thought that was really cool. So next up is something that I picked up in Asda. I was actually really impressed that this was 99p for something that's Paw Patrol. I just feel like Paw Patrol is normally really expensive. But it's just this like, like it's a goodie bag, but it's why can't I think what it's called? Basically, it's a bouncy ball, but there's three different ones that you can collect. So I'm kind of hoping that there's Sky in here because I just love Sky and I think Lila Rose would love it. But I think it's one of these three characters. So Chase, Marshall or Sky. And it also lights up as well. So for 99p, I thought that was quite cool. And it's just like a lucky dip bag. So she doesn't really know what she's going to get. Next up is something that I tend to do each year and it's just a pack of stickers. So these are just cheap pocket stickers from home bargains i think they are for like 69p however even though they are cheap they're actually really good so like you know when you get cheap stickers and they don't tend to stick these ones are brilliant lila rose already has a set of these that i think were like animals so this time i decided to go for dinosaurs and obviously because they're pocket stickers they are perfect size to fit in the stocking as well so got those ones for her okay next up is something that has to be in there every single year a packet of chocolate coins now this year i decided to go for actual cadbury's ones they are a bit more expensive i think they were one pound fifty and you obviously get less in them however every single year we have always got the cheaper ones where you get like for one pound you get like absolutely loads and they just go to waste because none of us like the, the cheap chocolate that cheap chocolate taste so i thought this year i'd actually go for proper cadbury's dairy milk and there is still quite a few in there and i just know that they're all going to get eaten so now the last couple of bits like i said we kind of spent more and i tried to get things that she's actually going to use and enjoy so the last couple of bits i picked up these ones this was before i found the peter rabbit figures i picked up these ones from b&m these went down to two pound fifty each i think they were meant to be three pound fifty and they also did have olaf as well but i decided to get elsa and anna i think there's also be a really good like little extra gift just to like give a young girl so if if you're like buying for a young girl or boy to be fair i think they're just like a little brilliant gift if anyone's into frozen and really good price as well for something that's actually branded frozen so yeah there's those now last but not least i don't really know why i saved this one to last to be fair this was three pound in b m and it's just this like sensory play pad which to be honest i'm not sure if lila rose definitely will take to this but even if she doesn't, it's something that with supervision, Laylee can play with and like squish around when she gets a little bit bigger and she does like tummy time and things like that. I thought I'd just give this a go because Lila Rose tends to enjoy kind of like some fidget toys. Sometimes she can just take it or leave it. I thought I'd just give this one a go. Just something, yeah, something fun for her to have in her stocking. So that is everything in my four-year-old stocking. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I normally, at the end of these kind of videos, I leave you guys a big long list of just other ideas for you guys. So instead of doing that in this video, what I'm gonna do is I will just leave a list in the description below of just more ideas for you guys, just to help you guys out rather than me just saying it all out right now. Anyway, look out for the next video, which I think the next one is gonna be Lila Rose's actual main presence, which I cannot wait to share with you guys. So keep an eye out for that one. That'll be coming very soon soon i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next video bye